in terms of the, 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 the input, the value I could add to those institutions, I accepted to be part of. It is not an employment. I don't earn anything for those services. So, but still, there are many Kenyans who are willing to give voluntary service. I'm one of those. And that is how I've ended up being a um, board member in some of those institutions. If you check them, it's more around my faith. Because most of those, like the university, uh, is an Adventist university, which I sit as a council member. The Kajado is the school I was just talking about. I just offer my services. I don't get up. In fact, I give. I don't receive. I give to those institutions. Thank you very much. We take from Mushmo Ansoro. Mushmo Ansoro, Mushmo Atuei, and Mushmo Bashir. Uh, and uh, madam we try to run when you are responding because of of time so uh, just just try to be brief okay thank you very much chairman my name is uh silvana zosoro member for south mogrango constituency i'll uh, link a little bit of a question that was asked by macau but ask it in a different way i'll go straight to your personality uh, during your tenure as the chair of the SRC, in as much as you were working as a team, you came out as a person who was in, uh, taking control of uh, your colleagues. Uh, and perhaps that is why people brand you as SRC in as much as you're working with the rest. And um, uh, you appeared as, you know, you could take over everything and uh, put, over, put aside your colleagues. That shows, in my opinion, you are not a team player. Uh, a long explanation, explanation on that. Number two, on the very same note, within your personality again, you appeared as a person who is very poor in negotiations. Uh, several complaints that you hear uh, from different public officers, and especially the members of parliament, about the way you came about with your salaries. You're making such an explanation here today out of another job. Now that there is another job, in the offing, now you've come up to make an explanation why you had to cut the salaries of the members of parliament. I mean, couldn't you have done it earlier? Does it show that you are arrogant? Then if you are, how then are you going to be a diplomat representing us in a different country? So perhaps for me it's about your personality and the way you expressed yourself. Uh, to make other people understand the reasons for your doings. That thing of coming out so much as the SRC person. And by the way, as you're speaking, I do not even know the position of the SRC personally uh, upon your exit. It was a, a reliever. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. First, may, let me declare my interest that Sarah Serem is known to me, I've worked with her, and is also a relative. Sarah, congratulations for the nomination by the president. By the president. One thing that I want to know from you, many people don't understand you. Can you make us understand you? What, what drives you? What drives you? What drives you on some matters? Very many members of parliament have a question in their minds that if we pass you through this, how will you treat members of parliament and others? Many see you to have looked upon many people and especially those who had leadership, even executive. They say that once you have taken a stand, you stand by it. Don't you have what drives you to that hard line on some issues? Uh, thank you. Uh, Madam, uh, congratulations for your nomination. Uh, I have two issues. One, I'm sure it has been uh, raised, but nevertheless, I still want to raise it is the issue of your experience and background and where you're heading. Uh, your experience of work relates to human resource. 
and now we are going to a field of diplomacy. Uh, and from the experience that uh, you have shown to Kenyans, it looks like you might not feel that, uh, that bill very well because you are a very aggressive person. So probably the job that you really need is the one that requires aggressiveness. Uh, because uh, when I look at uh, the issues of salary cuts from all public uh, uh, officers, yes, you did a good job, but you are unable to explain in a very cordial and uh, diplomatic way for people to understand that this was really needed. So it sort of came out like it is your way or the highway, including at times where that you didn't give them audience to really explain that why this was so. Uh, so looks like uh, now you are going for a burning mission. Will you be able to change or you are going to move with the same aggressiveness? Thank you. Thank you. You may respond. Again, uh, through the chair, uh, thank you, members. From Honorable Soro, indeed, I think all these questions are touching on my personality. It talking about us within the tenure of uh, SRC, it came out like I was in absolute control of SRC. I would wish to mention to you members that behind every conversation and every pronouncement that came out of SRC, there were nights and days of activity, nights and days of action, of research, of consultation, of dialogue within ourselves. What you saw was the spokesperson of SRC, which happened to have been the chair. And that was an agreement right from the very word go, that when we came in, the commission agreed that for us to maintain consistency and to have one voice, we will have one spokesperson. That was not something that was dictated by the chair, but that was agreed within the commission itself. To the extent that even as we shared responsibilities, because there were many committees, that handled the issues that came out through the chair. The one of being a spokesperson was left to the chair, and probably that's the reason that most of the issues that came out of SRC were identified to be the chair's responsibility, but behind it were the strong commissioners that actually make those deliberations. For information, there is not a single agenda that was passed by one person. It had to take a consensus. It had to take. There was not even a question of voting. We all had to agree on a matter and it as the chair. And I think we, we had the disadvantage of the fact that it was more of a change process. It was a transformation. And some of these things are never interesting. Because I know there are many that told me, we, envy the, we, 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 we like the work that you're doing, but we don't envy it. We absolutely would not even do it ourselves. So at that point, I think it needed a face. It needed firmness for us to probably even make SRC and its objectives known. Besides coming down to being myself, if you came to my house and came to my other areas of operation, the chair of SRC is totally different from the Sarah Serem you see today and would probably be extremely different if you landed in China and I'm there. Because I am one of the most diplomatic persons that perhaps Kenya would have. It only had to take that strength to put the uh, objectives of SRC as articulated, by the way, by the Constitution itself. But I get involved a lot, and the reason I am even in some of these boards is more of my possibility, uh, position, leadership, and ability uh, to kind of mediate issues. So that, that is Sarah Seremon, another note. And perhaps you need to interview others other than the SRC docket. Many people don't understand me, 
That's what Honorable Tue has mentioned. By the way, it's probably just the members of parliament that don't understand me. The rest of the other Kenyans understand me a lot. And we relate to them very positively. And out of this and out of SRC, let's get to engage more now as the Kenyans and the Sarah who is more of a mother than probably the SRC chair that you saw. Um, but may I again promise this? I'm extremely patriotic. I am a passionate. When I'm given a job, I want to do it. I would, want, I would not ever want to give an excuse for not doing the best of what I have been given. That's me. And sometimes perhaps it's not interesting. If by any chance taking that position, and I think it is right, I normally would go for it. Um, if perhaps that has not been interesting to some um, areas, um, I will take this point to say I am sorry for that, but it meant right for Kenya. It meant right for each one of us. My experience and background, I had mentioned that HR in itself is a diplomacy. To be an HR person perhaps would be the best diplomat that you can have. If you had many other careers and professions and you have a nature in it, probably for diplomacy, pick the HR. So you have the right person to do the job. And that is the background that gives me the strength as a diplomat. Um, that I am unable to explain in a cordial and diplomatic way, that was purely the stand that we had to take to put in position. And um, putting SRC in the map so that we all understand that with the changes that was taking place, it was necessary that some of the strategies and structures needed to change. Um, that perhaps was the position that we took as SRC. I don't know whether I have answered all of the questions or there is anything else I am missing out, but I am a, mo a woman of multi-skills. If you came to my chat today, perhaps the Sarah you would see is different from what you saw in SRC. Thank you.